Hey, it's Sterling with JDS Labs. Today we'll be getting you started with your new Atom Amp 2. Step one, power. Start by plugging in the supplied power adapter. Step two, inputs. Next, you'll want to connect your source. For you, this may be your PC or laptop, a tablet or phone, or Atom DAC. Atom Amp 2 accepts 3.5 millimeter TRS or RCA cables as inputs. Make sure your source input has adequate voltage for the listening level you require. Some phone dongles and lower end sound cards won't make the cut. For more, check out the resources in the description below. In my case, I'm using Atom DAC 2, which ensures the appropriate voltage. I connect my iPad to the DAC and then connect our JDS Lab stack cables from the outputs on the DAC to the inputs on Atom Amp 2. If you're using bookshelf speakers, you'll want to connect those to the RCA outputs on the back of the amp. Step 3. Headphones. Now I'll plug in my headphones. Atom Amp 2 supports your typical quarter inch connector and 4.4 millimeter for convenience. RCA preamp outputs are automatically muted anytime headphones are plugged into the quarter inch jack. If you would like to mute them while using the 4.4 millimeter jack, as shown here, simply insert an unused quarter inch adapter into the jack. Gamers, pay close attention to the number of poles or rings on your headphone cable. Headsets or headphones with inline volume controls may have an extra pole, requiring a TRRS adapter. A TRRS jack is identified by having four poles, right, left, microphone, and ground. If this is you, you can bypass the mic with a single adapter, like this. Or if you want to split the signal, you can use a splitter, like our JDS Labs headset adapter. This is useful if you're using Atom with a PS5 or another device that accepts a mic input independently. Step 4. Operation. Power on the device by turning the volume dial. When I'm adjusting the gain or volume on the source, I'll set it at 100% and then use Atom Amp for my main volume control. As with any amplifier, use as little gain as possible to reach the desired listening levels for you. Switch to high gain only when you need more volume than low gain provides. If the volume is still not loud enough, check the voltage level of your input. If you're using the 3.5 millimeter and RCA inputs, you can switch between the two with the input button. For 3.5 millimeter, press the button. For RCA, unpress it. That's it. For more questions, or if you need to do some additional troubleshooting, head over to our support section at jdslabs.com.